Hi, to VHL1 Media, and uh, I just want to thank to a Bendel212 for providing me with the model because if you were following my videos, as you know, my hard drive crashed and I lost everything. So, thanks for pro providing with this model, is actually pretty good, by the way. I can't find any faults with it, so. Uh, now we can continue on, so. In this video, we'll be starting to fix the front bumper. So, go to modify panel. Just it old. Alt X is for transparent mode because I was getting really a lot of questions. Uh, select vertex and uh, constraints. Click on edge and uh, just drag that somewhere around here. If you select edge constraint, what it will do is actually you will move your geometry, but it will not gonna affect the way it actually looks. Uh, Keep that here. Uh, switch off the edge constraint, otherwise it's gonna have some issues. You wanna make a few cuts, so rig, connect, and uh, just slide that to here. And uh, we need to make a few cuts here. So rig, connect, and slide that down to here to this line. It's actually all W, so you could see better. And uh, we need to want make one more code, so rig, connect, and uh, just want to slide that down. Okay. So after you've done that, yeah, you can actually move this edge a little bit out. So select this edge, hit loop, uh, add an edge constraint, and just drag that to here. Uh, switch out the constraint. Oops. Now, what you can actually do is grab these vertices and drag them up to here. Uh, click this and delete it. And uh, do the same here. Select all of that. Make an inset, something a little bit bigger. Okay. And delete the middle of it. So, if we go to perspective view, this is what we get. As you can see, it doesn't look very good, but we're gonna fix that. Go to the top view, we need to make a few cuts. So, select all of these, connect, okay, and uh, just drag them out. And uh, just let's add a little bit more geometry here. So, just try to make that a little bit rounder. So, connect, okay, leave that here. And uh, that's what we have so far. So let's extrude them in, select all of these edges here hold shift and uh, just drag on Y axis something like so uh, same with this, you can actually select border tool just click is going to select all around and just drag that in like so so this is what you're going to get and uh, let's just see how that's going to look, so I'm going to apply turbo smooth as you can see it looks really really bad uh, so we want to fix that uh, go to the editable poly go to the edge selection and uh, you select all of these edges around oops I moved it and uh, you want to chamfer them down so go to 0 0.5 that should do it and uh, same with here select all of these I just run here. Okay, and jump for them. Okay, uh, now go to the front view. We need to fix up our geometry. As you can see, we need to weld them together. So select both of these, hit weld, and uh, just increase the threshold. Okay, they just move that out. Same with this, both of them, weld move it out a little bit uh, this okay this is fine everything else looks good uh, now if we smooth this now as you can see we're getting much nicer corners if we would increase something like G we would get something pretty smooth but still not the end of it we need to make a few more cuts uh, add a few more constraints so rig this one 
connect and slide that to the end something like so okay and do the same on the bottom and now if we actually smooth it as you can see we're gonna get this nice sharp corners like so so you wanna do that on the other side as well you should be able to go with the same settings all around the car and uh, here now rig that connect and uh, just make one on the bottom that's it and uh, just move that and if we go to the front view as you can see they are good and uh, as you can see this one's supposed to have like a curve on it so that's good now we can actually fix up this geometry as you can see it's not mine so we just wanna pull them out to somewhere here like so and uh, just maybe pull this one back just a tiny bit okay so that's good uh, next you want to select all of these right here all the middle bit go to the perspective view and uh, you want to just drag that in just a little bit so you get this like thing and uh, when you smooth it it's gonna give you that little nice curve because this way the lights are gonna be fog lights so let's continue on modeling loop that round just deselect these two and uh, let me think uh, just drag that in yeah I just drag that in and uh, loop that once again and jump for that by 0 0.5 as well and uh, as you can see we're gonna get this issue here let me zoom in and uh, as you can see so I wanna weld this to this and these two in one place and there we go we're gonna get this nice square and uh, let's save us move it there he is it looks good it looks awesome uh, so we can actually yeah let's actually do that as well in here rig it let's add a constraint and uh, just slide it back to something like 52 negative 52 there he is we're getting that oh it's actually perfect uh, after we've done that we can actually as you can see here we're getting a little bit not even corner so we just move that in that's better uh, so let me just check the geometry make sure everything is well together and uh, let's go down select now what I'm gonna do is actually it's not it doesn't show on the blueprints but it's just gonna make it look better uh, Rig, con rig around it, connect, and uh, do something like, like that. And uh, now what you want to do is actually rig that once again, and uh, connect one, in one once again in the middle. Go up, hold control, and hit on polygon, and uh, hit on extrude, local normal. Let's just deselect a few of them there he is hit extrude local normal and uh, just hit ok I'm gonna get this thing that's actually too much uh, something like 4 approximately 4 and uh, just grab these vertices here and uh, you just wanna move them in I actually use this technique on my um, Mustang it worked worked out pre pretty well so if we table smooth this now as you can see we're getting this nice corner uh, so we need to delete all these vertices here polygons here so there we go and uh, if we actually add symmetry bang there we got the front bumper done so now we're ready to move on to the hood so thanks for watching this video um, 
sorry for the break and uh, bye